All I want to do is to browse the internet without weirdos trying to collect my data and spy on me. And I know I can't be the only person in the world who feels this way. In fact, I know I'm not because privacy add-ons are some of the most popular browser extensions for any browser. But I was thinking about privacy add-ons and they really aren't the best solution for browser privacy and security. Because the whole concept of add-ons is we have these settings in our browser that aren't very good, so we're literally going to add on more stuff on top of those crappy settings to try and fix them. It just seems better to fix those settings directly, so that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So, of course, this will be on Firefox. You can do similar settings in Chrome, but it's pretty pointless in my opinion because, well, you're still using Chrome at the end of the day. So, the first thing you want to do in Firefox is create a separate browsing profile. Since we're going to be changing Firefox settings directly, we don't want to accidentally break our only browsing profile and not be able to access YouTube or porn or whatever type of important stuff you need to do. So to make a new profile, type about profiles in the search bar here, and then it's going to bring you up to this window. You're going to want to click on create a new profile, hit next, give the profile a name, and then when you hit finish, you'll see the profile available to you down here, and then you want to go ahead and launch that profile in a new browser. Then we're gonna go into about config. Once you're in that new browser, you're going to get this warning that changing stuff in here might break stuff, just accept the risk and continue. And then we can get started with some of these settings that I've enabled to better enhance my browser's privacy and security. So the first thing is going to be to fix WebRTC. So WebRTC can actually reveal your real IP address if you're using a VPN or a proxy or Tor or something like that. Uh, obviously, we don't want to give away our real IP address. That's probably the main reason why you're using a proxy or VPN in the first place. So make sure you change this setting to false. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to disable fingerprinting. So this uh, property here, privacy.resist fingerprinting, change it from false to true. And this setting right here basically negates the need for Canvas Defender or any other type of fingerprint blocking add-on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to not use deprecated uh, encryption protocols, so 3DES. It's not exactly deprecated, but it has known security flaws to it, so it's just not the best encryption protocol to be using. And then we're going to optimize SSL now. So there's a lot of different settings for optimizing our encryption. We want to turn on safe negotiation. And we also want to make sure that we're using a good version of TLS. So in here, the TLS minimal version, I have it set to three. Uh, you could set it to four if you wanted to use the absolute highest version of TLS on all websites. But that may cause some websites to break because obviously not every single website in the world is going to be using the latest TLS. Hell, I even come across some websites that don't use uh, TLS at all, like they're just plain HTTP. So obviously you'll have to switch your profile or change the setting to however you want to make those settings or make those websites work rather. So we have the TLS minimal version and then there's also a TLS maximum version. So I have that set to four to use the latest version of TLS. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to disable zero round trip time to better secure our forward secrecy. So you want to set TLS enable zero RTT data to false. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, automatic form fill. So this is when 
if you've noticed how you've been typing something maybe up here in the address bar or maybe you were typing something into Google and it just auto completes what you're typing. This disables that so it's a little bit less spooky. Next thing we're gonna do is disable all the various types of disk caching. So I don't wanna save history. I don't wanna have anything cached to my disk. Um, if I find something interesting out there on the internet, I'm just gonna bookmark it because that's what the bookmark button is for. So it's the disk enable, and then there's this one, the um, cache SSL, and then there's this one, cache memory enabled. There is this one, the cache offline enabled. And there's also this one, the cache insecure. Oh, didn't mean to post them both. The cache insecure enabled. So change all of those to false. And um, sorry if I'm going too fast, but I'm gonna put all of these settings down in the description. And there's also a way that I'll show you at the end to just quickly import all of these settings into your browser. So stick along with the video. No need to necessarily pause it constantly and watch what I'm doing. Um, the next one is geolocation. So obviously we don't wanna have geolocation enabled. Now, what this will do, a kind of small downside, is if you've ever gone to a website before, like say bestbuy.com or walmart.com, and you notice how it has the feature where it just automatically picks a store for you to you know, put things in your cart to pick up because it automatically knows where you are. Well, this is going to break that. Well, not really break it per se, but you'll have to manually select your store or whatever on those websites. So just keep that in mind with the disabling of geolocation. Um, another one that I really like is this, the plugin scan plid all so what this does is it prevents websites from seeing what type of add-ons you have so you may have been on a website before that can tell you're using an ad blocker and it basically will pop up some css and say hey uh you're using an ad blocker we use ads to make money blah 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 please disable it to view this site this setting, changing it to false, is gonna make it so websites can't do that. And the next settings we're gonna do is disable telemetry. And there's a lot of telemetry in Firefox by default. So there's this really long string. There's um, this one here. Oh, didn't mean to do them both. Okay, let's use hotkeys because that's what they're for. So there's that one, go ahead and disable that. Um, let's see, dev tools. So disable that one. This one. This one. This one. There's actually a whole bunch of them to disable. Again, I'm gonna leave all of these settings down in the description below. And next thing we want to do is we want to disable WebGL. Now, WebGL, it basically gives websites direct access to your graphics card. Now, obviously, there's security concerns with that, but if you like to play Flash games, you may not want to enable this because the Flash games are not going to have direct access to your GPU, so they might lag a little bit. To enable this setting, we go webgl.disabled and then just mark that as true. Next thing we're gonna do is privacy isolation or first party isolation rather. So this will prevent browsers from making requests outside of the primary domain of the website. It disables super cookies, and it may cause some websites that rely on third-party scripts and libraries to break, but those are generally just used for tracking anyway, so who cares about them? And we want to also disable TLS false start. So this setting is 
this one here, go ahead and change it to false. Once you have all of those uh, configurations set in your about config, restart your browser profile so that all of the settings will be enabled and then go to Panopticlick. So this is the same site that I use to test my browser against tracking in the last video where we installed a bunch of add-ons. As you can see, I don't have any add-ons installed at all. I just changed the settings directly in Firefox. So let's go ahead and test me and see what results I get. All right, and as you can see, my browser is blocking tracking ads. It's blocking invisible trackers. Um, it's doing this. What is this? Does your blocker stop trackers that are included on the so-called acceptable ads? Okay, yeah, so it's doing that. Um, this one, does it unblock things that promise to not track? No, but who cares? I don't care if you promise not to track or not. Just don't fucking track me. It's weird. And does your browser protect fingerprinting? No, but if we see the full results of fingerprinting, um, some of these strings are undefined now, and the bits of identifying information are very little. Now, you could still add an add-on to spoof your user agent if you really wanna do that, um, but of course, spoofing your user agent has the downside that going to sites where you need to download things, if you're pretending like you're on a different OS, like if you're on Linux, but you pretend like you're on Windows, then that site's gonna redirect you to EXEs and stuff like that. Um, I guess if you're on Linux pretending to use Windows, it's not that big a deal because Linux users typically don't download programs from the internet anyway. Now, if you're lazy and you don't want to actually set all of those settings manually, there is a file that you can just add to your Firefox directory. Um, it actually tells us in, um, let's see if I go back to about, I can't spell. So it's basically in this directory here, or I should probably do this one since this is what I'm using. So in this directory here for your profile that you just created, you can place a file called prefs.js um, or user.js. I don't really think it matters so much what it's called, but I think user.js is the default name for it. And you can just put these preferences in it that way. So these are essentially the same preferences that I just set in about config, but it's inside of this file. The great thing about doing this is it makes it so you can easily import your settings into Firefox. So if you're like me and you like to distro hop a lot, you change your OS, or maybe you just have multiple computers and you don't want to obviously set about config settings on multiple computers, you can just use this prefs.js file and then put them in your directory on all your different computers and then you will automatically have all of these privacy enhanced settings in your browser. So that's it. Enjoy your private browsing and I hope you learned something.